I think we've got a lot to improve on with our bowling. Um, I thought we got better and better as the game went on. Um, and we didn't start as well as we would have liked to have in that first innings, but I think we just got better and better. Um, but we'd like to you know, bowl really well out here. Yeah, he's definitely a guy that we'll talk about in our team meeting today after training. Um, you know, he's a very good player, um, very difficult to bowl to. But I think if we build up enough good balls on him, um, you know, he's going to be like any other player and, and hopefully nick off. I think there was a stat that he hasn't nicked the ball behind for, for 12, uh, the last 12 months. So um, we want to be the first team to do that. Uh, if we can bowl really good areas, use our bouncer to him, especially on this, you know, hopefully it's going to be a, a bouncy wicket. Um, then, yeah, just I think it's just being a, a bit more patient. I think we sort of played into his game a little bit. You know, he's really good off the off the back foot, as we saw, um, and you know, scored some easy runs through that point region, backward point. Oh, you always want to challenge yourself against the best players, and that's that's how I've always always been. And I guess uh, I've learnt that from from Glenn McGrath and and then Brett Lee and. And those guys, so it's um, you know something I've always um, you know really looked forward to when I've come into a series. You sort of, I guess, you, it's not target certain players, but it's you you want to play your best against their best players, and um, yeah, it's definitely it's a bit of a surprise to me, I guess, really the way it played. I hadn't really seen a lot of him. Um, I, I knew about him, but yeah, I, I didn't realise how. You know what a good player he is. So, um, like I said, he can play play all the shots. Um, he looked pretty good in defence, and um, you know it's a really good challenge. And, and I'm really looking forward to to playing him out here on a ground that I really enjoy bowling on, um, and, and really test test myself against him. So, he's obviously in very good form, and and he's going to go into this game with a lot of confidence. So, um, I think you know all our us as a bowling unit we can bowl better to him and like I said if we we put some good balls on him and, and use our short ball then I think we're going to be in the game a bit more yeah I mean it's in my I think about it most days I think um, you know it's, it's it's probably getting to that time and um, but to be honest I'm just trying to go out there and play each game um, and enjoy it like I've said before um, who knows when it, it could just it could be after this game I might just go I'm done but um, look I, I'm still enjoying my cricket at the moment uh, I'm enjoying the challenges um, like I said it's a really good time for Australian cricket with these young guys in the team and, and I want to be a part of that so as long as I'm performing well um, and doing my job in the team then then you know mentally I'm feeling pretty good <laughs> Um, I was surprised at the way he bowled full stop. Uh, I, you know, it was something we talked about in our team meeting. You know, he, he generally gets the ball right up there, nice and full, swings the ball, and he's got good pace. Um, I think in one day, you, you, you tend to, you know, you've got ten overs and you can you really go for it. But um, yeah, look, I, I thought he's probably been a bit underdone. He's come back from injury and he hasn't really had a lot of cricket, so uh, that was good for us to. He's played the way that he has. Um, you know, he. I guess from from his point of view, he he wouldn't have liked that. And um, you know, there was pressure on there too. Two opening bowlers, really. You know, they're the two spearheads. They're the guys that they rely on so much. Um, you know, Southie and, and then Bolt. So, um, you know, hopefully we can put that pressure on him again here. Um, if if Southie plays as well, but yeah, look, he would have been disappointed. It was it was certainly a surprise to us that he didn't didn't bowl the way that he normally does. So. Look, we're expecting him to bounce back uh, and bowl well out here. Yeah, it's sad. Um, I think it's a great, great ground to play at. Um, so you think all? I think most cricket teams would would say the same thing. It's it's a great place to play cricket at. Um, so it will be sad for it to go, and um, there's not much we can do as players about it. But um, go out there and try and enjoy the. Uh, the test matches that we do have, all the games that we do have out there, and, and really, um, yeah, I just soak it all up, I guess. But look, it's disappointing. Uh, but at the same time, there's a new stadium that's that's being built, and uh, it's going to hopefully bring more people to to the games as well. And um, but it's yeah, it's, it's a difficult one because it's yeah, it's it's a ground that I've like had success at, probably my most success at. And you know, I remember playing my first Shield game here, and um, early 2000s and 
um, you know, playing against Joey Angel and uh, Brad Williams and, and just remembering how quick and bouncy it was then and the cracks and, and how, that, how that played and you're just not going to get that anywhere else. So, um, yeah, it would be sad.